What's up, trade hackers? Today's Tuesday, January 14th. Market just closed about 30 minutes ago. Pretty mixed bag on the on the stocks front. S&P down slightly, NASDAQ down slightly, Dow and the Russell both up a little bit. So a little bit of a mixed market. Some of the other things going on, I've been mentioning some of the earnings that are happening. Had, uh, had earnings announcements this morning from JP Morgan. So we take a look at JPM. Came up quite a bit and it kind of closed back down a little bit. So not too big of a move there. Also, Wells Fargo announced decent move lower in Wells Fargo. Delta Airlines was another one up a decent amount in Delta. So the airline stocks making a little bit of a rebound after the initial a little bit of a downside action after the Iran issues. And then the other one was Citibank and Citibank was up a little bit as well. Tomorrow morning before the bell, we've got a few Bank of America. Now we didn't put on any trades in these just because a lot of the a lot of these symbols, the implied volatility is lower than we like to see. As you can see here on our indicator, got an IV percentile of 13, IV rank of 18. We just we're not looking to sell any premium when implied volatility is that low, but they do announce. Same with uh, Goldman Sachs. A little bit higher in the 48-ish, 52-ish range, so decent, but we didn't do a trade in there. United Healthcare, UNH, you can see uh, they're getting ready to announce as well. Implied volatility, again, a little bit higher, but not, not as juicy as we like to see. You know, if you look at uh, going back to some of the past earnings announcements, if we look at, at a one-year chart, for example, you see this implied volatility typically right before earnings is up a lot higher. You can see how high this is, 80, 85, you know, almost 90 in some cases before the earnings. In this case, pretty muted, so not looking to sell any premium there. The other one is US Bank, USB. Uh, they're getting ready to announce as well. And again, implied volatility, fairly low. So no positions. However, did want to just point those out as they will be announcing earnings. Some of the other things we did here, entered a new reverse iron duck in Beyond Meat. BYND, you can see another big move today. I mean, it was up huge again and then retraced all the way back down. So it only ended up closing up, what was it? A little over 2%. So we put on a, a reverse iron duck. It retraced all the way back into the beak. So we may even just close this one out for a profit tomorrow. We'll see where things open up, but could be a quick trade in beyond. And then Tesla, Tesla continues its march higher. So we ended up bailing on one of our reverse ducks there. Uh, just got to a point where it just kept going up and up and up. So we bailed on that one. We do have another reverse duck in Tesla though. So hopefully we can get a little bit of that back. And then lastly, in booking. So we had a, uh, in booking.com, we had a an iron duck. We went ahead and closed that one out, booked a little profit on that. So that's all we got. Everybody have a great evening. Talk to you tomorrow.